Hi friends, today we will talk about a streamlet. What is a streamlet framework and where we can use it? So streamlet framework is useful for creating data apps for you know for you know using wizards and for you know making interactions with it. So like if you want to you know create chart or any you know kind of you know want to show any graph so we can use a streamlet with the streamlet you don't have to write the html code you just you know have to do the python is, uh, scripting and you will you can create beautiful data apps on the web right so also in you know uh, in network artificial intelligence if we deploy a model and if we want to you know with the input we want to see the changes in the uh, input variables or the features we can directly see it. how we can you know create a data app i'm gonna show you guys and what are the features in streamlit also how we can build and share the data app so for using the streamlet in python you just need to you know uh, install the streamlet module that is uh, we can install it using the pip so i'm i have already installed it but i'm showing you guys that is pip is install a streamlet so this is already installed in my virtual environment now what are the features and what are the widgets that streamlet provides i'm gonna show you i have already import streamlet as st so st dot slider that is the slider what is your age one comma one comma two that is my slider i just have to write a single line of code and it will create a slider in you know my data app and it will be shown as a UI as we create using HTML so now I have just I have to run it run this file that is my streamlet demo file I'm and for the run you need to type this command streamlet run streamlet demo dot file okay now it will it is showing guys a slider with the description what is your age and i can you know slide it so that is a very interactive visit and very beautiful visit also also uh, streamlet provide st dot you know sidebar with the slider if slider the slider what is your age okay so now this will create a slider but in the sidebar oh, let's see how it will be shown okay okay so as you are seeing guys it is a sidebar and i 
and in this side over there is a slider okay let's let's create a data frame and show it yes. let's try to you know show it on my web page so and create a random dot random number in between 10 you know, with the 10 rows and 20 columns and that is my data frame right and now if I want to for the data frame there is a method st.data frame let's see this okay so this is quite good it is showing a table with the 10 row and 20 column i think 20 column but it is showing the random value okay now if i want to you know show a graph and i want to do a runtime changes with the help of interactive widgets how can i do it so for this i have uh, a code okay I have a code this is my code so I have in this code in this lines of code I have you know created a slider which is number of points and number of turns let's run it then i will you know illustrate these lines of code with you guys so okay so it is showing me a you know a graph with the number of 2000 point number of points and uh, nine number of turns okay so if i you know do only 100 and, and 500 and 0 9 so uh, you are seeing guys that uh, you know these visits the, the slider is interactive and it is you know changing the output at a runtime so that is a very good thing when we are using data when we are working with the data and we are you know uh, working with data analytics also or in the field of ai okay and now let's understand the code so i have created a name tuple uh, if you guys don't know about what is name tuple name tuple is like a data structure which you know has a key that is my point and the value and but uh, it's like a dictionary but uh, it does not have you know the, the way of initialization initialization is like tuple and we have a slider total points and now we iterate point dev mode is a function that you know return quotient and remainder uh, if you guys don't know please read about this what does dev mode do dev mode return tuple of quotient and remainder of these two values that is current point num and point per turn also now we you know find out angle and radius and then we find out x and y that is simple uh, y is equal to mx plus c uh, for the single line y is equal to mx plus c right a simple equation with the help of this equation we have you know, just find out x and y right and then i appended all these points in my list that is data and then i create alter chart with the help of this module alter alter you know it provide functionality for the you know graph for this graph this particular graph and i have 
appended all these data pd dot data frame data and hide the height for five hundred and circle and encode. So this gives me this output. So guys, you know the main objective of this video to tell you that uh, how we can you know create the graphs and the, also the interactive graphs like in the real time we are changing inputs and it is showing us that uh, that particular input what is the impact of it so let me show you something else like what are the powerful apps which is created with the help of streamlet okay so and this is the app that you're sh seeing right now we change the you know input and on the real time data it is showing us also it is you know this SVG it is changing the face right it is changing the face with the help of face gen explorer that is a model actually uh, that is the AI model but uh, with the change in features it is changing the input and you know on the real time uh, the you know image is changing so that is very powerful data apps. so with the streamlet we can create this graphs and we can render the data also also we can interact with these graphs with the different input so guys I'm done for now thank you thank you all